Hello, welcome to another episode of the Stephen Austin Wrestling Toy Figure Show. I'm Steve. And I'm Emily. You keep sneaking up on me. I swear I thought Austin was sitting there. Okay, so today is the Steve and Emily show. And Emily's rocking her new WWE t-shirt. And it says WrestleMania on the back. And we are just a little while away from WrestleMania. Um, so quite fitting that you're wearing that t-shirt today. Um <laughs> So uh, today we're looking at some more build a figure um, elites and um, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, so the first one is who? Batista. Batista from the Royal Rumble um, elite series with the Virgil Beagle de figure. So we have Batista's picture there, Batista's name there, Royal Rumble here. Got Elite logo there, WWE logo there, True Effects written on top. What else does it say? Lifelike details. We'll, we'll have a look at the figure and look at the box and then see if you think it looks just like him. Okay. Um, then on this side we have Batista and the Elite logo. On this side we have a picture of Batista and the Elite logo and Royal Rumble logo underneath that. Then on the back we have got a little bit of the spiel. So if you want to read it, you can pause it and read it there. And we've got a picture of Virgil there, who is the builder figure in this series. And then the four other people in this series Brock are... Brock Lesnar. Yep. Batista. Yep. Ridge Holland. Good. Beth Phoenix. Can't get better reading than that. Uh, so yep, Brock Lesnar, Batista, Ridge Holland, and Beth Phoenix. <gasps> Buckshot. Next up is Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix, only the second elite figure of Beth that I can think of. I think there's one from the Decade Dominance Elite Series with, in all green with the women's title. This is from one of her Royal Rumble appearances, and it says it on the back. In fact, look, it's got the time from Buffalo, New York. Oh no, this is when it who she is. Okay. So she's from Buffalo, New York. She's five foot seven in height, and her finisher is the Glam Slam. But there she is on the front of the box, big window on the box, Royal Rumble logo, Beth Phoenix, Virgil, uh, Elite logo, and uh, WWE logo, Triple X, Beth Phoenix, Beth Phoenix, Elite Royal Rumble, and picture and more spiel on the back. Yes. What? Wait. I can't put it there until we done that box shot. There we go. Next up, who have we got next? Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland. Not Ribbit Holland. Not Bridge Holland. But Ridge Holland. There he is in his flat cap. Big window to see the figure. Royal Rumble logo. Virgil. There's his name. Ridge Holland. Elite logo. Ridge Holland Elite Royal Rumble logo. No yawning on the video. Um, and then on the back, we've got the Royal Rumble Elite logo. There he is. Let's see how big and how heavy he is. He's from Yorkshire, England. He's six foot one. He weighs 253 pounds. And his finisher is Northern Grit. And there you go. There's some more to read if you really want to read it. And all the other figures in that series. Box shot. Right, last one of the boxes to look at. And who's this one? Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, of course it is. So there's Brock, there's the window, there's the Royal Rumble logo, there's Virgil, there's his name, there's Elite, there's the WWE logo at the top, there's the sunroof, there's Brock Lesnar, there's the Elite logo, Brock Lesnar, Elite logo, Royal Rumble logo. Royal Rumble and Elite logo at the top. Picture of Brock Lesnar. There's his name. And he is from Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota. He is six foot three. He weighs 286 pounds. And his finisher is the F5. And there's everyone else in the series. <gasps> the box shot. Right. So here we have the Batista figure with the short hair, um, but still longer hair than he currently has. Um, and got sun tattoo on the front, got 
uh, some sort of Chinese Asian writing on his left arm, a bit of tribal tattoo on his right shoulder and a lot of tattoo on his back. Got Batista written on the back of the pants, bit of fire logo on the front of the pants, black knee pads, black elbow pads, black boots. Batista. Next up we have Beth Phoenix uh, with her blonde sort of mullet look and braids, plaits down the side of her head. See him? Yeah, like, a bit like yours, yeah. Uh, like you would normally have on the top of your hair. Um, so no tattoo on the arms of Beth. On the back, it has Beth Smash on the back of the jacket. Again, we'll get some close-ups of these shortly. On this long green leather type, excuse me, starry jacket. And on the front of the clothing, got this green phoenix type look and Beth smash on both sides of her trousers and then the plain black boots stroke trainers for Beth Phoenix. Got a little bit of uh, face paint on her eye. Looks like a bit of a virus or something coming out of her eye. Maybe she should go to the opticians. Do you know any good opticians? Yeah. Well, we'll tell Beth to go there then get her eye fixed. Um, next up, probably the one that comes with the most accessories is this Ridge Holland figure. Comes with a flat cap and this sort of, I don't know how to explain it, it's textile um, jacket um, and comes with this sort of billy club thing. Um, got the face mask and the grey flat cap on his pants, have the black pants with the gold trim and ridge written on the back. Uh, got the plain black knee pads, got black boots with made in Yorkshire written on the back of his boots. Um, I don't think he has any tattoo detail. We won't strip him down just to have a look, but I don't think there is any. Um, and yeah, the Ridge Holland at first time in the line. I don't think we had a basic of Ridge Holland before. So it's just this elite is the only figure we have of him. And the last figure is this Brock Lesnar figure. Looks pretty much the same as all of the other recent Brock Lesnar elite figures that we've had. Uh, the main difference with this one, what I really like, is his little, little ponytail thing. Um, very impressed with the way it looks. It looks very neat, very intricate. And a very emotionless face on Brock Lesnar. Um, got the tattoo in the left shoulder, got the skull tattoo on the right shoulder, the big sword tattoo down the chest, and then the beast um, on his back. Got Lesnar written on both of his UFC gloves. And then on the shorts, you've got the beast logos at the front and the beast logo on the bottom. And then you've got the plain black ankle boots. Rock Lesnar. Then when you get all four of these and you get all the extra body parts that come with it, you end up with, do you remember what I said this person's name was? Do you remember? Virgil. Virgil, good memory from reading the box. Um, <laughs> this is probably the most famous look for Virgil there is. Um, comes with the red and white striped tights with the white boots and the red tassels, which you can move up and down. White wrist tape, um, and not much else going on for old Virgil. Oh, I've got Virgil written on the front around his waist. Um, yep. He's showing them a picture. Exactly how he looks in the picture. Comes with the, the fisted hands as well, which we've got somewhere around. Um, but yeah, uh, very, not stern, but very sort of, concentrated look on um, Virgil there. Um, so that's all five of the figures. What we'll do now is we'll get some closer look at each of them and then we'll do some figure comparisons and then we'll let Amelie rate her least favourite to her favourite out of all five of them. Okay, so we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here's all four figures from the Royal Rumble Virgil Build-A-Figure set. We got 
Beth Phoenix on the left with Batista behind her, Brock Lesnar next to Batista, and then Ridge Holland in front of them. This is the same four figures from behind, so you see the tattoo detail on the backs of Batista and Brock Lesnar, and a little bit of detail going down the back of Beth Phoenix's coat. Then for Batista, we have the Royal Rumble Builder figure set on the right, and then the Elite 72 Batista on the left. Then for some figure comparisons, we have the Dakota Kai from the Jimmy Hart Royal Rumble Elite Builder figure set, and the Brie Bella from the Doc Hendricks Royal Rumble Builder figure set. For Brock Lesnar figure comparisons, on the left we have the Elite 96 Brock Lesnar, and on the right we have the promo attire Elite 99 Brock Lesnar. So we don't have any uh, figures to compare with Ridge Holland, so we've got the rest of the Brawling Brutes figures. We have the Elite 74 Pete Dunne and the Elite 85 Sheamus. Then our final comparisons is the Builder figure themselves. In the middle we have the Virgil Builder figure, then we have the Jimmy Hart on the left and then the Doc Hendricks on the right. So we're back. Um, that was all of the figure comparisons that we could do and a few close-ups so you can see a bit more of the detail on the figures. Um, but now it's down to Amy to pick her least favourite to her favourite of the five figures in the Royal Rumble Virgil Big Builder figure set. So which is your least favourite one? The one with the most accessories. What was his name? Can you remember what his name was? Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland, good memory. Right, so why don't you like Ridge Holland? He's uh, not short and he doesn't keep falling over, so why don't you like him? Because, um... You don't like his mask? Yeah, Oh, right. Hat. Fair enough. <laughs> next, who's, who's your next least favourite? One, two, three, or four. Three. Who do you... Like a little bit more than Rich Holland. Which one? This one. Brock Lesnar. Okay. And then who do you like a little bit more than Brock Lesnar? Batista. Okay. Then who do you like a little bit more than Batista? Virgil. So that makes Beth Phoenix your favourite one from the WWE Mattel Elite Royal Rumble Virgil Builder figure set. So just to recap what Amelie decided with regards to ranking the set, uh, she had Ridge Holland as number five, Brock Lesnar as number four, Batista as number three, Virgil as number two, and then Beth Phoenix as number one. I like her dress. Her dress? You mean her coat? Yeah. That's fine. That's cool. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say? Uh, I also like her because she got blue hair. Oh, yeah. A little bit of blue, blue in her hair. hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. Um, if you like the video so much that you want to come back to see more, then please subscribe to us and hit that notification bell so then you'll be able to see anything else that we do publish on the channel. We do have loads more videos coming, um, so please do keep an eye out for that. Uh, you can't comment on this video. Why can't you comment on the video? Because I'm here. Because Amelie's here. Um, yeah, with a kiddies video, kiddies video, you can't comment on the video. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. And bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hello, bye-bye.